No. Get out of my face when the clock hops up. Stop. Stop. YouTubers who got killed. During their viral YouTube video, dance in the rain, but respect the boundaries. There are plenty of darker corners on the YouTube platform that tend to go in the other direction. There are plenty of people out there who want to push their content to the absolute limit. And there are times when this doesn't work out in their favor. Let's take a look at a list of YouTubers that have lost their lives while filming their videos. 1. Pedro Ruiz, a deadly stunt gone wrong. Point of this video is, I really just want to see if a 50 caliber bullet can go through a book. June 26, 2017. Pedro Luis, alongside his longtime girlfriend, Mona Lisa, set out to shoot what she called the most dangerous video ever. Mona Lisa Perez was a YouTuber who had a channel called Lona Lisa, where she mainly recorded boring vlogs in which she would talk about her daily routines and mundane average activities. She was in a serious long-term relationship with a young man named Pedro Ruiz III, and the two had a young daughter together. However, tragedy struck when she and her partner, Pedro Ruiz III, undertook a perilous stunt for the sake of YouTube fame. In an ill-conceived plan, Mona Lisa shot Pedro with a powerful handgun, thinking a thick book would shield him. This reckless act resulted in Pedro's death, leading to Mona Lisa's arrest and imprisonment for second-degree manslaughter. The consequences extended beyond legal ramifications. Mona Lisa was forbidden from firearm ownership and prohibited from profiting off the tragic case. In response to such incidents, YouTube implemented a ban on dangerous pranks, recognizing the potential harm of extreme content creation. The video capturing the shooting became lost media, leaving behind 16 and 1-2 minutes of footage leading up to the incident, released through news reports. 2. Timothy Wills, The Cost of Extreme Pranks about a 20-year-old who was shot and killed in Old Hickory over the weekend. Police say he was apparently pulling a prank robbery with butcher knives for a YouTube video. On February 4th, 2021, 20-year-old Timothy Wills lost his life attempting an extreme prank. He is the oldest child in his family, harbored dreams of YouTube stardom. Working at Walmart while pursuing a degree in heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, Timothy sought to hit it big by joining the trend of extreme prank videos. Despite YouTube's rules against such content, Timothy delved into more perilous territory. His attempt at a real robbery prank at an urban air trampoline park resulted in tragedy when a bystander, feeling threatened, shot him at near point-blank range. This incident highlighted the blurred lines between staged pranks and genuine danger. While many YouTube pranks involved paid actors and staged scenarios, Timothy's attempt to elicit a real reaction led to devastating consequences. His tragic death prompted his grandmother to speak out, emphasizing the need for parental awareness and vigilance in monitoring children's online activities. 3. Grant Thompson – The Legacy of a Content Creator What's up guys, welcome back to the lab. Today we're trying another one of those experiments you really shouldn't try at home. Is that not absolutely amazing that she took fire from her hands and lit that whole bowl? Grant Thompson a married father of four, and part of the YouTube channel, The King of Random, left an indelible mark on the platform. Known for diverse content, he met a tragic end on July 30th, 2019, in a paragliding accident near Sand Hollow State Park. From liquid nitrogen experiments to woodworking projects, Grant decided to step back from active involvement in 2018 to prioritize family time. Tragically, during a paramotoring incident in Utah in 2019, a parachute malfunction led to his untimely death. The incident captured on video served as a stark reminder of the unpredictability inherent in outdoor activities. Grant's legacy lives on through his channel, with co-hosts Nate and Callie continuing the work and establishing the Grant Thompson Memorial Outward Bound Scholarship. This scholarship ensures that Grant's impact on YouTube endures, even in the face of personal tragedy. 4. Tanner Cook, The Controversial Path to YouTube Stardom No. Get my face Stop. 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 Tanner Cook, a 21-year-old prankster, 
faced a tragic incident on April 2, 2023, at the Dallas Town Center. While shooting a video for his YouTube channel, Classified Goons, he found himself entangled in legal turmoil due to his provocative prank videos. Despite facing backlash for his content's controversial nature, his channel experienced significant growth. A notable incident involved a prank on a DoorDash driver that resulted in Tanner being shot and undergoing surgery. During the trial, Tanner defended his pranks as harmless confusion-inducing jokes, but public sentiment turned against him due to perceived immaturity. The jury's decision brought further confusion and legal battles, yet Tanner's channel continued to thrive Despite the controversies, he maintained a polarizing presence on YouTube, emphasizing the complex relationship between creators, their content, and audience reactions. 5. Albert Durland, a creative light dimmed too soon. On July 28, 2021, Danish YouTuber Albert Dan tragically fell over 600 feet to his death while climbing Mount C in the Italian Alps. Danish is a YouTuber, musician, and vlogger, gained recognition for his creative content. Tragically, his life took a devastating turn during a video shoot in the Italian Alps. Filming a climbing scene on Mount Cicada, Albert fell approximately 656 feet to his death. Despite efforts from a rescue helicopter, Albert's life was cut short. The outpouring of grief from fans and fellow creators highlighted the impact Albert had on the YouTube community. Amidst the sorrow, voices emerged cautioning against the risks of filming dangerous stunts. They emphasized the importance of prioritizing safety over the pursuit of thrilling content, urging creators to reconsider their actions. These tragic stories of YouTubers who lost their lives while pursuing their craft serve as poignant reminders of the inherent risks associated with content creation. While the allure of online fame and pushing boundaries can be tempting, it is crucial for creators to prioritize safety and ethical considerations. Society, too, plays a role in fostering an environment that encourages responsible content and discourages extreme stunts. As we reflect on these narratives, let us collectively learn from the mistakes and misjudgments, fostering a culture that values both creativity and the well-being of creators. YouTube, with its vast reach and influence, holds the power to entertain, educate and inspire but it is incumbent upon both the platform and its users to ensure that this influence is wielded responsibly. In the ever-evolving landscape of online content creation, let the stories of those we've lost be a beacon, guiding creators and viewers alike toward a more thoughtful and mindful approach to the limitless potential of the digital realm. May these lessons contribute to a safer, more compassionate online community that prioritizes the human aspect behind the screen.